if you ask people like when they were starting university to when they actually ended university, the job they actually wanted to have and what they ended up in is often completely different. And uh, I'm certainly one of those and I'm sure, you know, the panelists potentially are as well. So um, don't be married to one particular career path. Like if something feels right, go for it. But I've found is that in, in interviews, at least, and in the job seeking process, employers are much more interested in the impact that you made rather than the, you know, just kind of the bullet points of like, oh, I was responsible for this. I manage these people because that doesn't really tell them much about what you contributed. It just kind of tells them what your role was. And so um, I remember when I was tweaking my resume for applying for a job, that's one of the pieces of feedback I received was to talk about the the accomplishments you were able to make uh, by being part of that club or being part of that extracurricular. One thing I might have done differently was exploit my status as an undergraduate student to ask potential employers or to ask, let's say, an organization for more information about what they do, why they enjoy doing it, and what it's like uh, in the day to day. That way, you not only get firsthand knowledge of that industry, of its people, and whether it's really something you want to invest more years and more time into, let's say, getting into human resources or getting into research. But you also now have a, well, you're also now building out your network of people, um, people that have walked before you and, um, and can refer you to other people, to other resources. And it's, it's a good way in never discount the opportunities and never discount the the things that you did um, when it comes to uh, showcasing your skills and who you are. Um, whether it's as simple as a clerical job in an office, whether it's um, as a cashier at a supermarket or something, um, there's a lot of takeaways from those opportunities uh, to what Samir had said. Um, there's a lot of different accomplishments, a lot of different, um, a lot of different numbers that you may have experienced in those opportunities, like in those opportunities and jobs that, uh, that you think might be, oh, just of randomness, but it turns out, um, crisis negotiation or customer uh, service and customer satisfaction are some of the skills that, um, that somebody's looking for and you might have had you might have just helped them solve that problem. So um, for me, I'd say the biggest takeaway is never discount the opportunities that that you had that you now bring to whatever's next.